What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, your man's dog, Camel 331. Back at it with another video. And today we're continuing our W. Uh, no, not continuing. Yeah, we are continuing. We are continuing our toxic tier list rankings. And today we're going to be doing a toxic tier list ranking of all the NXT Battleground 2024 matches ranked on tier list form. But before we get to the actual beginning of the video itself, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Because number one, absolutely free. Number two, on the road to a thousand subscribers. Just uh, 272 away now. And also maybe help with the YouTube algorithm. And we recommend the video to more people. Maybe they could join. That's toxic, friend. And do feel free to comment your uh, tier list down below of all the matches from nxt battleground 2024 uh down below and do and uh with that being said guys let's get right into it yeah. and uh before we get right into it, yeah. uh here are the categories we have best of the best which means they were the best match of the night close to five stars or five stars um great means it was close to being like um awesome it's just there was a minor flaw holding it back Toxic goodness means it was good. It was a solid match. Okay means, like, it's a mixed bag. It was... There were some good moments and there were some bad moments. And then Toxic Trash means Dumpster Fire, the worst match of uh, NXT Battleground 2024. All right, so... Again, I made this tier list by myself, so give me a break. I know that all the pictures aren't going to be in line. Well, this picture I didn't make right here. I, I just saw it and apparently it just showed Ethan Page's face. Um, but anyways, uh, starting off, we have the... Well, I'm not going chronological order how the show went, but I'm going how the template is set up. Uh, we have the NXT Underground matchup between Lola Vice and Shayna Baszler, which the NXT Underground matchup I do not like. But out of the NXT Underground matches... Well, it's an interesting idea, but some usually executed terribly. But, however, this was the best one. I must admit, it was a great brawl. Uh, they brawled out on the outside a couple of times. This was a good way to give Lola Vice a big win and help elevate a younger star with Shayna Baszler putting her over. That was pretty good. Um, a bunch of stiff strikes in here, which I liked. Um, I feel as if... This should have been the match that Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler had, but nope, we were wrong. That match ended up being terrible, and this match was great, and also, um, yeah, uh, that's all I'll say about that. Yes, it was a great match, um, and I liked the black and ring and stuff, so yeah. Um, next up, we got the NXT North American Championship Triple Threat Match. And I think this is the best division probably in NXT. It might be in all WWE, to be honest. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But the NXT North American Triple Threat Match for the title was best of the best for me. I thought it was an awesome Triple Threat Match. Every single uh, championship match that happens with the NXT North American title is guaranteed to be a good or amazing match. Uh, was this on the level of Josh Briggs, Dijak, and um, and uh, Obafemi? No. But it was still a amazing match. Uh, all three competitors looked good in here. Uh, Wesley looked amazing. Obafemi, of course, looked amazing, proving how he's such a powerhouse and he's going to be the person to dethrone Trick Williams, guaranteed. Uh, and Joe Coffey was pretty good in here, too. Um, and uh, if any one of them would have won, well, I like Wesley a lot, don't get me wrong, but if he would have won, I'm not a fan of multiple time champions of the same title. Uh, there's some moment, there's. I'm 50-50 on it. There's some parts I like when they're multiple-time champions, and then there's some parts I don't. If Wes would have won here, I would have been a little bit disappointed, to be honest with you. Even though I love Wesley, it's just I don't like multiple-time champions. And uh, there was a moment in here where I thought Joe Coffey was going to win, which would 
uh, but I always knew Obafemi was going to retain in this because Obafemi's a beast and he should stay undefeated for a long, long time. Uh, so this was best of the best match for me. Then we got the probably the most anticipated match of the night, probably we were all expecting, is the NXT Women's North American title six-pack ladder match with Fallon Henley, Lash Legend, uh, Sol Ruka, Meechan Miam, Jada Parker, and um, uh, Kalani Jordan. Uh, Kalani Jordan. Um, and this was good. However, I was expecting a little bit more from this match, not going to lie. It ended super abruptly and super quick, uh, which I was hoping for them to go longer, but it is what it is. They had a couple of cool spots in here. Lash Legend taking a crazy bump to the outside. All competitors in here looked good, especially Sol Bruka, Fallon Henley, Lash Legend. All three of them, I think, looked, and Kalani Jordan. All four of them looked the best in this match, and I would have been fine with Honestly, I would have been fine with any of the women winning this match, to be honest with you. Except for Jada Parker, because I don't think she's ready to hold the title yet, because she just had her first match, like, uh, two months ago. And uh, Meechan, I wouldn't... I would have preferred... Uh, I would have been okay on, but I would have preferred the others to win. Which, luckily, Meechan didn't win, because I'm a big fan of Meechan. It's just... I wanted someone else to win the, t the title for the first time. And uh, Kalani Jordan actually won, which surprised me a lot. There was a couple of cool spots in here, as I mentioned before. Lash getting dumped to the outside uh, through the ladder, uh, onto the ladder. Also, um, Kalani Jordan doing a split leg moonsault uh, onto Meechan, I believe, on the ladder. That was pretty brutal. Also, uh, the Soul Seekers in here by Soul Ruka. And I was hoping, I was going like, Oh my goodness, is she going to do a soul, uh, soul Seeker off the ladder? Which Sol Ruka did pull it off. I was going, how are they going to pull it off? And she pulled it off very nicely. Um, good match. It's just, it ended so abruptly. And also, I wish it went a tad bit longer. Then we got the NXT Women's Championship match between Roxanne Perez and Jordan Grace. Which this, well, actually... I originally said that the NXT Women's North American title ladder match was probably the most anticipated. This was probably second. Um, and this match was... Good. It was good. The reason why I didn't put it in great is just because I didn't... The in-ring finish was good. It's the outside finish with the... Tatum Paxley and Dana Brooke when they got involved. It's kind of soured me on them on the match. But when they got back in the ring, yeah, a dope finish, though, where uh, Jordan Grace went for a finisher and Roxanne countered into a cutter then followed up with a pop rocks. That was a cool finish. Um, a bunch of cool spots in here. There was like an avalanche something. I forgot what it was uh, by Jordan Grace, but she looked great in here and definitely... Uh, WWE and, uh, did a good job of protecting Jordan Grace and not burying her because she was a part of TNA, so that was good that they didn't do that. Um, and they protected her with having the interference, so that kind of helps things, but not by a whole lot. Uh, anyways, good match. Then we have the NXT Tag Team title match between the OC and uh, uh, Nathan Frazier and Axiom. I don't know why it forgot their names uh because they're cool this match was okay so far i love axiom i love nathan frazier so far their tag team title run has been kind of sad honestly it's not bad it's just it's been disappointing compared to the wolf dogs tag team title reigns from a few months ago with baron corbin and Braun breaker their tag team title run was fantastic this style run I'm not feeling it. Um, and I think this was the time to have them drop the titles. And I think the Good Brothers should be the ones to defeat Nathan Frazier and Axiom. But they didn't win here, unfortunately. So there's that. And they're back to their losing ways, unfortunately. Maybe they stay on NXT for a while. Then maybe that'll help them. So maybe keep them on NXT. But I wanted... Gallows and Air starting to win. In ring action was fine. It's just it was disappointing. I was expecting a lot mat uh more from this match because of the two previous pay per views we had uh 
this year with the tag team action. So, yeah. And then we have, I know you can't see the, the other participant. We have Whoop That Trick and Ethan Page and for the NXT title. And I'm going to be honest with you, it was okay. Again, kind of the same thing with the NXT Women's North American title ladder match. Um, it ended so abruptly, and I thought they would have done more. And I thought the finish was lame. I knew Trick was going to win, which I, I don't mind winning. And I think it's too, too early to, for him to drop the title, so I'm glad he retained. It's just the finish was stupid where Ethan got mad at the ref. And then Trick came out of nowhere. Trick knee, one, two, three. That's Ethan Page's first match. And it's just, why? That was so abrupt. And uh, bu they didn't really do much before that. It might have been, I don't know how long this was. Probably like 12 minutes. It was very short. And I was so surprised when <laughs> Trick actually won off of that. So, Hopefully, they revisit this feud. NXT uh, Heat Wave, I'm pretty sure, is the next pay-per-view, and it's going to be Canada. I think they're going to continue off this feud and probably ha add a special match stipulation with Ethan Page and Trick Williams in Ethan Page's hometown town of Canada. Um, so, I'm pretty sure that's what they're going to build up towards. So, maybe their next match will definitely, uh, maybe will elevate this past match. But with that being said, I think NXT Battleground, unfortunately, is probably the weakest PLE of NXT um, so far this year. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's just it was kind of disappointing compared to the last two, which the last two were great. Um, but anyways, that is just my all my thoughts, guys. Be sure to comment your thoughts down below on NXT Battleground 2024. And also, I thought it was a massive step down from tw uh, 2023 NXT Battleground. Anyways, uh, but with that being said, guys, I'll see y'all next one, everybody. Peace out.